My name is Paul Zeman. I'm the city arborist for the city of Stevens Point. Dutch elm disease is caused by a fungus that is carried by the native and the European elm beetle. They'll feed on a diseased tree and get the spores attached to their bodies and then fly to a healthy tree and deposit those spores while feeding on that tree. What it does is it plugs up the vascular system of the tree and the tree basically starves itself of water. Another mode of transmission is through root grafts. If you got an elm that's diseased and another nearby elm, most likely their roots are grafted. So the disease can spread from one tree to the other. Dutch elm disease came to the United States in the 1930s on infected logs that were bought in France and they were shipped to Cleveland, Ohio for furniture making. The beetles were in the logs. From the mid 70s till now, Stevens Point has lost upwards of 5,000 elm trees. When I'm taking a sample of the tree, I'll snip a branch half inch to one inch in diameter and I'll peel the bark back. And what I'm looking for is a brown streak just underneath the bark. That's the fungus plugging up the, the vessels of the tree. After a tree is marked, when it has Dutch elm disease, it's considered a condemned tree. The homeowner, they have 30 days to take the tree down. We don't care how the tree comes down, as long as it gets down. Any of the wood from the tree either has to be chipped, buried, or burned. Um, if you would like to use the wood for firewood, you can keep it on your site, but it has to be debarked. All the bark's got to be taken off because underneath the bark and the bark, that's a breeding ground for the elm beetles. What most likely happened with this tree is if you look in the upper crown toward the right there, you'll see that the bark is already off the branches. So those branches have been dead for a while. What most likely happened was it was a late summer infection and it's hard to tell if the tree has Dutch elm when it's that late in the year because the leaves turn yellow in the fall anyway and start dropping. So you would never know it has the disease. So it overwintered in the tree and then the spring and summer is when the rest of the tree succumbed to the Dutch elm disease. You don't want to prune elms uh, from April till end of September, October. Um, any open wound that you give to an elm, either by pruning or even storm damage, that's an attractant to the beetles. And if there's a diseased elm nearby and you got an open wound, they're going to hit that open wound and now your tree has Dutch elm disease. If you have to prune your tree during the summer months, paint the wound. It's one of the only times that painting a wound is recommended. Trees can be treated preventatively by fungicides that you can give to your tree typically every three years. It's moderately expensive, but you just got to figure out, is that tree worth it to me? If you really value your elm tree, take a look at it once a week. Look up in the crown, see if you see branches that are flagging out. But even before that, treat it preventively. Have a tree service come in and treat it with a fungicide. If you have to prune it, paint your wounds. If you value your tree, treat it like, like anything else that you value so much. Just keep an eye on it. If you catch it early enough, you know, it can be pruned out and the tree can be saved.